Hey, all you river rats, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to cure some eggs, and this is how I do it. Um, unfortunately, we didn't have a, a salmon season this year, so it was a little rough on getting eggs. So I ordered them online. I got about four pounds of coho, four pounds of king, and I'll show you how to cure each one, and I'm gonna do each of my cures. And you're gonna need a few things, not a lot, pretty simple. First, gloves, gotta have these. Stuff gets a little juicy, a little stinky. So let's put the gloves on. You're gonna need a, a paper towels, white, no designs on them, no ink, no anything like that. You don't wanna have anything that could leave a scent or residue on your eggs. So I ordered these from Sunshine Bake Company and I'm pretty impressed with the eggs that came in. Um, there doesn't look like there's um, any blood in them, if any, and they should be uh, pretty easy to cure. Next thing you're gonna need, sharp knife, a rag, and the eggs themselves. These are coho eggs. So the cure we're gonna do here, and this is just gonna be the first phase because it has to go through a couple different um, phases before we get to the final product, but it won't take long. It's gonna take a couple days and I'll videotape each of the steps that I take and what I'm using. So the very first thing I like to do is I like to get them, get the eggs, make sure there's no blood in them. Okay, everything looks good there. And then what I'll do is I'll take the eggs, like so, go right down the middle of the eggs, and then I'll butterfly them open here. Nice tight skein. Come back to reverse and finish it off. All right. Eat your towel now. Clean off your knife. And clean off my, my hands. Okay. So now we have them butterfly, like so. There's one half, and here's the other half. And as you can see, they're pretty juicy. So now for the second phase of, the, of this process, second phase of the first phase, um, I'm gonna take paper towels. I'm gonna get all this stuff out of my way here. Whole process going on here. Take paper towels, the white ones. I'll probably take, let's go with, uh, probably two sheets, two sheets for the first one. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay the eggs into the paper towel. Take, lay them into the paper towel. Let's see if I can tilt that forward a little bit so you guys can see. Boom, laying on the paper towel. And then once they're on the paper towel, I'm gonna roll them up. I got a lot of eggs to do, so. Um, this is just one of many skeins I'm going to have to uh, process here in the next couple days. Okay, once I roll them up like so, there should be two for each skein. So, if there was any blood left in it and to get all these juices absorbed for the 3 two, one cure is what I'm going to do here. And then I roll them up like so. Got them both. And the last step is in this phase is to clean off my hands, take the glove off here. Don't need the glove anymore. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take them and put them in a zipper. I'm gonna let them go in the refrigerator overnight to suck up all the juices here. Okay, got them in the bag, put the air out. Not super important, just so it'll fit in my refrigerator because I got a lot of stuff in there. All right, so that's the first step. Not that hard. Um, we're gonna go into the next step tomorrow when these are ready, and they'll actually go through the first process. It, we'll check them to see if all the juices are uh, have been absorbed and if there's any kind of blood left. I don't think I didn't see any blood in there, so I'm pretty happy with these eggs. Um, I'll leave the link down below on these the set of videos once I have some time. But uh, here's your first step. Now. Refrigerator will be ready for the next step tomorrow, which will be the three, two, one process, and uh, or maybe possibly letting them air out a little bit. So we'll chuck the eggs tomorrow. I'll keep you guys posted. Tune in, and we'll see how uh, how these eggs turn out. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. And hope to see you on the river real soon.